guys and girls, in this video we're going to look at the best VR headset. I've made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price and more. I've included options for every type of consumer so if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the VR headsets in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify them when we reach 5000 likes. Ok, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best VR headsets on the market right now. Coming at number 9, we've got the HP Reverb G2. If you're up for the best image quality VR, HP's newest VR headset is one of the winners in the race. And for serious gamers, this may be your best choice. But if it doesn't meet your taste, then get on with the video to the end of the best choice VR on our list. The HP Reverb is technically a Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality headset that prefers to launch into Microsoft's native Windows 10 VR ecosystem. It's 2160 by 2160 per eye resolution and 114 degree field of view are the best at this price range. The lightweight, comfy headset also has fantastic drop-down speakers designed by Valve. However, its built-in camera-based room tracking is easier to set up than the Valve Index's external base stations but is more prone to tracking errors. The included controllers, based on Microsoft's VR control design, feel clunkier than the Oculus Touch controllers or Valve Index controllers. Also, the over-ear speakers are your only audio choice. There's no headphone jack. But aside from those, HP Reverb G2 is something you can put up with. Coming at number 8, Valve Index. Valve headset made it to this list as one of the most interesting PC virtual reality experiences. Just for its fancy new controllers, Valve's controllers are pressure sensitive and can track all five fingers, making them almost like gloves. Not many apps make the most of them yet, but Valve's hardware is mix and match compatible with the HTC Vive, which also is built on the Steam VR platform. The Index headset has excellent audio and a sharp, wide field of view display. However, it's also definitely not wireless, but if you already have some Vive hardware, you can add on parts of the Index to mix and match. Coming at number 7, Oculus Rift S. While Oculus Rift was one of the best VR headsets around for connecting a PC and enjoying immersive gaming, the Oculus Rift S builds upon that for a better experience. The headset is a lot sleeker than before, and it now has 1280 by 1440 resolution display with a fast 80Hz refresh rate. It's also light, which makes it ideal for long sessions of VR gaming, whether you're sitting at your desk or enjoying VR in a larger space. It also has a rather neat feature in the form of speakers that are integrated into the headband to help you avoid the need to use the original Rift's onboard headphones. With that design in mind, the audio results are surely impressive. Thanks to Oculus Insight tracking tech, the Oculus Rift S can deliver room-scale VR without the need to place external sensors around the place. And it comes with the impressive touch controllers that nearly track movements and help make VR feel a lot more kinetic and immersive. So if you're looking for a PC-based system that plays a huge library of games, for a decent price, the Oculus Rift S is a sure bait. Number 6. Oculus Go The Oculus Go headset is much more affordable than the other standalone options. The screen is also of good quality, it's roomy and comfortable to wear, and it doesn't overheat in the same way a phone power headset does, which is a definite advantage. Battery life is good too. The hand controller makes it easy to point and click to operate once the headset is up, and all of these things mean it's great for consumers' use at home. However, for something sold as standalone, it's disappointing that you have to download the Oculus app to your smartphone to set up the headset. This doesn't help the user experience, and neither does the fact that the headset is so completely tied to the hand controller. 
Coming in number 5, Samsung Gear VR. Powered by Samsung Galaxy smartphones, Samsung Gear VR effectively splits the phone screen into two to create 3D visuals. To offer affordability, wire-free virtual reality. Lacking the power of a high-spec PC, Gear VR is a natural home for 360-degree video, passive content, or semi-active experiences that require moving the headset to hotspots rather than hugely interactive projects. Originally launched in 2013, the Gear VR is the go-to VR platform for many. It's widely understood by the public and a large number of experiences already exist for it. This has been boosted by a partnership with Facebook, bringing the Oculus VR store to the platform. And an upgraded headset has improved the size of the lenses to widen the field of view, making the Gear VR's experience feel more immersive than the original launch model. If you ask me, it's not bad at all for the price. Coming in number 4, Samsung Odyssey Plus. The Odyssey Plus is Samsung's makeup of, you guessed it, the original Odyssey HMD. It's a substantial improvement and the best of the current crop of Windows Mixed Reality WMR offerings. Don't let that category name fool you. The Odyssey Plus is primarily a dedicated VR headset. The mixed nomenclature comes mainly from Microsoft's initial eagerness to build holo lenses into the same ecosystem as its VR initiative. The Odyssey Plus boasts an impressive high-res display for a WMR device at 2880 by 1600 and also takes advantage of a proprietary anti-screen door feature Samsung deploys to reduce the fine grain you see in the majority of HMDs. As a result, the screen door effect in the Odyssey Plus is practically undetachable and combined with a WMR standard of inside-out tracking. It provides a remarkable level of immersion. Number 3. HTC Vive Cosmos Listening to its customers, HTC did something radical when it designed its newest VR headset, and the result is a brand new headset called the Vive Cosmos. It's better in every way than the original Vive that preceded it. The Cosmos is aimed at existing HTC Vive owners and VR enthusiasts who want better comfort, improved visuals, and the simplicity of not having to set up those lighthouse base stations around a room. HTC Vive Cosmos seems like a shiny polish on what a VR headset is today rather than a bold futuristic jump forward. For HTC's customer base, the Cosmos seems like it is exactly what they wanted. But for the VR landscape as a whole, one has to hope that the next wave of VR headsets pushes the medium even further. Coming at number 2, Sony PlayStation VR Sony's years-old PSVR headset is still the only head-mounted display for gaming consoles, and its screen still offers a surprisingly immersive experience. Even better, it's often on sale for as low as $200, sometimes with games thrown in too. But Sony's confirmed it's working on a next-gen PSVR headset for the PS5 with a new set of controllers that could be coming in 2022. That's if you want to wait. In the meantime, Sony has delivered and continues to deliver many excellent virtual reality games, many of them exclusives. All you need is the PSVR and a PlayStation 4, and you're good to start playing. Number 1. Oculus Quest 2 At $300, with nothing else needed, the Oculus Quest 2 delivers virtual reality games and an immersive VR experience anywhere. It's faster, smaller, cheaper, and more comfortable to wear than the original Quest, but you have to log into Facebook to use it. The Quest 2 brings to mind the Nintendo Switch for its versatility and fun, plus it takes mere seconds to start up and fits well over glasses. The standalone VR headset has self-contained motion tracking and a full motion 6 degree of freedom. The Quest 2 comes with a VR controller that is the same as the ones as the PC required Oculus Rift, plus a surprisingly great high resolution display and built in speakers to enhance the viewing time. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best VR headsets. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.